Communication is an essential part of life. Whether you are speaking with a friend, family member, or colleague, we all need to effectively communicate our thoughts and ideas to others to build relationships and get things done. However, it is not as simple as it might seem. Effective communication requires more than simply speaking clearly and directly. The way you communicate can often have just as much impact on the person you're speaking with as what you say. Jordan Peterson tells us that there are three essential requirements of effective communication, clarity, brevity, and empathy. If you want to improve your communication skills, these are three key things to keep in mind at all times. 1. Define what you want to communicate. Before you can effectively communicate with someone, you have to know what it is you want to say. Otherwise, you'll likely end up rambling aimlessly and lose the person's attention long before you even begin to get to the point. This is especially true if you are trying to show empathy or if you want to use the conversation to offer constructive criticism. You can't be effective if you don't know what it is you want to communicate. Jordan Peterson mentioned that it might sound like a simple concept, but it's one that often gets overlooked. If you haven't defined what you want to communicate, it is unlikely that your message will be effective. 2. Be brief. The next essential requirement for effective communication according to Jordan Peterson is brevity. This doesn't mean that you should be short and to the point, but that you should avoid rambling on and on when you have something to say. Brevity is key to good communication because it will prevent you from losing the person's attention and enable you to get to the point sooner. If you're in a situation where you need to offer constructive criticism, then being brief is even more important. Nobody wants to be criticized, but if done correctly, it can be a valuable learning experience. However, if you're rambling on about everything that's wrong with a person's skill set, it will likely have the opposite effect. 3. Show empathy. Communication isn't just about speaking. It also involves listening as Jordan Peterson exemplify. Every conversation is between two people, not just one. So, as much as you need to define what you want to communicate, you also need to pay attention to what the other person is saying. This is where empathy comes into play. If you listen carefully to the person you're speaking with and show that you are engaged in what they have to say, it will go a long way towards improving your communication skills. Communicating effectively isn't about being talkative and imposing your point of view on the person you're speaking with. It's about being open-minded and considering their side of the story too. Conclusion Communication is a key aspect of any relationship. However, it's not as simple as just speaking clearly and directly. For communication to be effective, it has to meet three essential requirements. To communicate effectively, you need to first define what you want to say, be brief in your message, and show empathy towards the person you're speaking with. If you keep these three things in mind, you'll be well on your way to better communication.